What's up, dudes? I got a movie prop for my review of The Lorian Legacy, or as I like to call it, Fuck the Mogadorians. Let's go. So this on? book was written by three different cats and two of their names I can't pronounce. One of them is James Frey, and I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right. But anyways, they did it under the collective synonym Pitticus Lore. And the book is about aliens. See that light? They're taking me right now as we speak. Okay, they brought me back. Couldn't deal with me very long. I'm kind of an asshole. So anyways, the first book in the series, I'm number four. I'm sure you guys have probably seen that movie. Um, I kind of like the movie better than the book, honestly. I've seen the movie first, so that may have had something to do with it, because most of the time, the books are way better than the movies. But in this case, I kind of liked I'm number four, the movie, better than the book. And I'm really, well... I'm, I'm sure there's not going to be any more movies because I'm guessing that it didn't do well in theaters. But I personally thought the movie was badass. And number two is The Power of Six. She's the badass chick that you meet at the end of I Am Number Four. Uh, also a pretty decent book. It gets more into her storyline. Um, you get to get a better feel of Sam. You get to know John a little better. Uh, in case I'm getting ahead of myself, John Smith is the alien that the book is about. He's uh, the main character. And in I'm Number Four, you get to meet him, Henri, and he meets this kid named Sam. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to give you guys an overview of the entire series because I can only do a 15 minute video and that shit would take forever. Book three in the series is The Rise of Nine. He is totally my favorite character. He's a badass. He's got some pretty awesome legacies. One of my favorite being the anti-gravity legacy. Uh, if I'm getting ahead of myself again, these aliens have powers. The powers are called legacies. So anyways, nine kids are put on earth they you know escaped their planet when it was taken over under attack and shit by the mogadorians and yeah there's nine of them um they all get to earth they all separate they have their sapons with them their sapons are like their little guardians they're aliens also they meet up with some humans that help them get their fake identities set up and they all split up go to different parts of the world and Pretty much stay the hell away from each other because there's this Lorian charm that's on them. Uh, the Mogadorians are trying to kill them because they're going to develop their powers, which are called legacies, and eventually they're going to be strong enough to beat the shit out of the Mogadorians, kill them off, prevent them from taking over Earth, and I guess their ultimate goal is to go back home and fix their planet. So at this point in the series, you know John Smith, he's number four. Uh, number five, we don't know because he's still MIA. Number six, badass chick. Number nine, aka Stanley. He's kind of like this little rich playboy badass. He's like, um, I shouldn't say little because he's like tall and ripped and like beats the shit out of Mogadorians. He's pretty awesome. Um, John, like I said, his say palm was named Henri. We don't get to know Six is Sapon. Uh, they do mention her name. Uh, it's not Adelina, I don't think. I'm thinking that that's Marina's Sapon. Marina's number seven. We haven't got that far yet. But anyways, number nine, pretty badass. Now, book number four, we do get to meet number five. And the kid is a psycho. But you don't know that at first. At first, you're thinking he doesn't know shit about fighting. Um, he pretends like he's this little innocent guy that's never seen a Mogadorian and hasn't really had the opportunity to, or I shouldn't say opportunity, I guess I should, he shouldn't have, he hasn't had to defend himself 
and he, you know, the group saves him and takes him back, introduces him to everyone. But the thing is, and this is total spoiler, but he is actually working for the Mogadorians. His Saipan was an old guy, and when the old guy, he got here, he got sick, he died early on, and the Mogadorians, the, their leader, um, Cedricus Raw, badass. Anyways, their leader, Cedricus Raw, had made a deal with Five, work for me, I won't kill you, because like I said, their charm that was put on them, they have to be killed in order. So the first three at the beginning of the series are already dead. It starts with John, I'm number four, he's the one next up to die, then number five has to die, number six, and so on. And once it gets to number nine, he's supposed to be the last, but not necessarily. But we don't find that out till later. There's also number 10. She's a chick named Ella who is Lorian, but she wasn't part of the charm. And uh, the charm gets broken anyway, so none of it will matter after the third book. But yeah, she is also the great granddaughter of Cedricus Raw, who we find out is also Lorian. He's just changed himself through all these mutations and other fucked up shit. But anyways, we also, um, it may be this book, it may be the book before, but we also get introduced to number eight. Uh, he's super cool. He's got teleporting powers. Uh, backing up a little bit, Marina, number seven, she's got the powers to heal, and she also has the powers to make, like, a ice and like she mainly uses like ice spears to shank people in the head and eye and yeah she's a badass but um backing up to number six she has the power to control the weather and she can also go invisible well number five his power he can take on the texture is it can make his skin like the texture of anything he touches so he carries around these two balls with him no pun intended <laughs> no Anyways, he carries around these two balls, one rubber and one uh, steel ball bearing. So if he touches the rubber, he can like stretch his arms out and like grab people and, you know, kind of like Mr. Fantastic powers. And then he has also, he carries the steel ball bearing around so that he's all Superman, man of steel. Speaking of, he kind of bit Superman's powers a little bit because his other legacy is he can fly. So he's basically Superman as long as he's got his balls <laughs> did I really just say that and the last two books in the series are The Fate of Ten and United as One um, like I said the entire series is badass we don't get to meet one through three but we do get to meet Adam Adam is a Mogadorian uh, his dad killed one and Cedricus Raw hooked one up to a machine and was trying to transfer the consciousness of one into the body of a Mogadorian, which he ended up transferring the consciousness of one into this Mogadorium, uh, Adamundus or whatever, but he calls himself Adam. I think I got his name wrong, but anyways, it was maybe a week or so ago when I finished the series up, and I've already crammed two books in since then, so you guys will have to forgive me if I'm a little off on names and stuff like that. But anyways, he not only transferred the consciousness of one into Adam, which it wasn't permanent, but he also transferred the legacy, one of their legacies. So Adam has a legacy, a fucking Mogadorian with a legacy. But anyways, it's pretty badass. And in the very last book, Cedricus Raw, he's trying to like channel this uh, entity. Uh, it's Lorien itself. It's kind of like the energy from the planet. Uh, it was hidden here on Earth. And Cedricus Raw is trying to take that and basically give Mogadorian's powers legacies and he does succeed in that and there's a couple of badass man the very last book in the series is badass I mean you dudes are gonna love this book um, like I said the first book starts out slow so you'll I mean if you just want to skip the first book watch the movie I wouldn't hate on you but the second one it gets pretty good. It's decent. It's, uh, you know, I listened to it in between books that I was listening to. Now, the third one, that was, let's see, The Rise of Nine. Man, that's when it gets good. You're going to love Nine. Nine is by far my favorite. And then five, he is my second favorite. So, 
All these guys are badasses. I can't remember if I told you guys of 8's power, but it was teleporting. And then 10, which is Ella, she is psychic. But that's all of their legacies and stuff. So it's pretty awesome. Like I said, 9, he ends up getting broke out of jail because he's in like a Morgadorian prison and John and Sam save him. And then Sam gets locked up and tortured. And man, just so much cool shit happens. There's just way too much shit to go over. But a lot of cool shit happens in this series. And if you guys check out that movie, if you like it, it's definitely worth checking out the audiobooks. And let me go ahead and tell you guys, if you want to get free audiobooks, the best way to do that is get a library card. And you can get a library card online. Just fill out this shit and you can get one online. And there's an app called Overdrive. You type in your uh, library card number and bam, you can get like unlimited audiobooks, movies, uh, regular books, everything from this Overdrive app. So you guys owe me one for that. It's badass. It's kind of like having the Audible app. If you guys have the Audible app, you'll totally love that. But when you, with Overdrive, everything's like 100% free. So free shit, dudes. Jump on board with that. But yeah, the Lorian Legacies, man, I just wanted to take... I, like I said, I don't really have time to explain all this shit. I just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys how fucking awesome it was. And how much I really enjoyed the entire series, with the exception of the first two books. But, I mean, it's totally worth getting through those first two books for the rest of the stories, man. It is badass. And also, there is six other books. Um, I guess we can say spinoffs or novellas. Uh, I listened to Nine's Legacy, which is one of the audiobooks, um, the little spinoffs. And it wasn't that great. Um, but I did listen to it because Nine is like my favorite. And um, there's a couple of spinoffs about Five and a spinoff about Sam and Adam and Sam's dad. And I'm going to check into those too, so I may or may not do reviews on those. But, dudes, you got to check out the series. It is just badass. So I just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys how much I loved it and to basically give you guys a heads up on the Overdrive app. So. Check that out. Check out the series. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, we'll see you dudes tomorrow. Bye.